Hello everyone, this is Shane Gardner and um, today I want to talk about the amazing liver gallbladder flush. Now, um, my wife and I, we've been on this journey of this holistic lifestyle for quite a while and coming into this year, say from around February, we made the transition to becoming vegan, the whole family, myself, my wife and our four children. So, um, the friends and family and people alike have been coming up and they've been noticing the transition with myself and my wife and the children because we were suffering with a lot of health issues. We were overweight because of the diet that we had and um, we were going through a lot of stuff, especially myself, you know, um, being a fitness fanatic. I would say fanatic, but I like fitness, I like sports. Um, I, could, I found it really difficult to lose weight and I got to a level where I just couldn't get below a certain weight and I was just looking for alternative and I always had this kind of, you know, apple belly, this kind of pear belly. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't um, indulge in anything like that. I just had a diet where that consisted of fish and chicken and, and an occasional meat. But I found out that this wasn't really conducive for me to lose weight. Um, you know, I'll train, I'll work out hard and I'll still have the, you know, the heavy starch, fried foods, processed foods. And um, this wasn't helping me with my training regime because I would lose weight and put it back on straight away because of my diet. So I wanted to make that transition. My wife is talking about um, becoming vegan for years and I was like, no way, I can never give up eating meat. Or I wasn't really much of an eat, meat, a meat eater. But I couldn't see myself giving up my traditional Caribbean mo uh, meals and chicken and, and then fish and so on. But the time came where we just gradually transitioned from cutting out the meat, then cutting out the chicken to just eating just fish. And then the fish portions came down to maybe we was eating just one fish meal in, a, in the space of a week. And my wife said, look, we hardly eat fish now. Why don't we try being vegan. So anyway, I tried it out, started to um, do some vegan recipes and, you know, it happened, it happened. But it, it was a process of time that I had to go, that we had to go through eliminating certain foods out of our diet before we became full vegan. So with that said, we became vegan. I, I noticed a drastic change in my weight. And I said, wow, I started to see new things happening with my body, my weight loss, my stomach went down, you know, I had more energy, um, I could work out longer, more intensely, and I was like, wow. But there was still a stage that I was getting to and hitting like a brick wall, you know, with my training regime. And I wanted to lose weight. My ultimate goal is to lose weight and get to a certain weight. And I started my journey of um, training two years ago coming up to three years now, um, trying to lose weight. I started at 115 kilo, kilograms. And um, over the time, up until this point in time, I lost the weight. And I went down, you know, to 95. Then I went down to, got down to 90. And I was experiencing tremendous difference with my physical capabilities. And then... I got, I hit a brick wall and I couldn't lose any more weight. And I was like, but I still had this bit of a podge in my stomach, you know. And I said to myself, I need to get rid of this. I don't know what it is. And my diet was, you know, so-so. And I was training hard because I trained very intensely. And um, I was just researching one day on YouTube about how to, you know, lose the love handles. You know, we men, we suffer with the love handles and all of that. How to just tighten the skin and get the stomach flat and all of that. And, you know, I'm a person, I like to fast a lot. I've always fasted. Um, but you can't maintain that. You have to maintain a, a holistic balance with your diet and, and just your outlook on life, basically. So I was on YouTube and I was researching about how to lose um, belly fat. And I came across this YouTuber. His name is Gavin Mel. I'm going to put him in the description, a link to his, um, his site. And he was talking about this amazing um, liver and gallbladder flush and, and the tremendous results he, he, he's got from it. So, I, you know, I watched, I was intrigued and I said, I listened to him and he was, 
And the guy's very ripped, you know, he's very ripped. And I was looking at him and saying, man, he's got a really good physique. You know, and if that, if 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 the amazing living gallbladder flush done that for him, what can he do for me? So he was recommending um, this gallbladder and liver flush. And um, I listened to a few of his videos, and I was like, "Wow, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out." And he gave reference to the actual gentleman who devised this, and his name is Andreas Morris. I think I'm pronouncing it right, but this is his book. So he recommended, um, Gavin recommended to buy this book and I went on Amazon and I bought it straight away and I read it from cover to cover and he explains explicitly about the liver and the gallbladder flush. So after I read the book, I said, I've got to do it. My mind was completely made up because the symptoms he was saying that people suffer with, bloating, this water retention, um, you know, finding it hard to lose weight, you know, problems with ankles, joints, water on the joints, stuff like that. I was going through all of those issues. And I said to myself, man, this, this gentleman here, Andres Moss, is on point. So I researched him on YouTube and I found some old links to um, video footages of him talking about the amazing gallbladder and liver flush. So I watched his videos um, from, the, from the doctor himself and I listened to, I subscribed to his channel and I listened to all of his... Um, his vlogs and I was like that was it I was convinced so I, in, I bought the book I got the items needed to do the flush and I and I got going and I began to see amazing results tremendous results and I dropped down from 90 kilos and I went down to as low as 79 kilos in my weight and I did this over a course of doing several flushes and also implementing my training and my vegan lifestyle. So that's how I, with all the three combined together, that's how I was able to transform myself and lose the weight. So for this video is for all my fellow YouTubers out there and especially for my friends, family and work colleagues who have asked me, Shane, what, you've done, what, what are you doing? Because people are saying that like, I'm getting all this positive um, feedback from people that you look good, you've lost weight, um, you, you've really trimmed up, you've really tightened up your muscles and, and, and they're like asking me, what do you do? What's your secret? And it's not a secret. I mean, this knowledge is out there for everybody. I just got the information and I implemented it. And that's how I am. If I take on something, I always go 100%. I always give it 100%. If I'm doing something, I give it my best. And I, I'm always like that. So for all of you people out there, you know, that want to know about how I got my gains, this is how I did it. From a vegan, changing my diet to becoming a vegan, from working intensely with my training regime and implementing cleanses, cleanses. And uh, the defining factor was the liver and gallbladder flush. So today I've done my fifth gallbladder flush <laughs> this is my fifth one that I keep count so I've done five and I've still got these stones uh, gallstones coming out of me and I'm like my god I can't believe that I'm harboring so much of these gallstones so I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to break it down you know this is the book if you need to purchase it go on Amazon it costs about around 15 pounds um, US um, uh, British pound sterling so that's the book and if you come in my wife's up behind the camera by the way so um, she's, she's making all these faces as I'm talking and I, I'm getting a bit distracted but if you pan in say hey babes hey this is this is the items that you need now to do the gallbladder flush you have to um, you have to abstain from fried foods fatty foods Eat clean. Um, eat clean basically no crisps no chocolate no snacking you have to do that for a total of six days and then on the sixth day you have to you have to cleanse you have to have an enema or do a colonic and that cleanses out your colon it cleanses out your colon and make you know just shifts all the debris it gets it all out so once you've done the cleanse on the sixth day in the morning um, 
then you have to um, drink some Epsom salt. Now the book says you have to measure. Um, sorry about that. You have to measure 24 ounces of water um, in total, but you you've got to drink them in parts. So you drink six ounce parts. So you you have um, six ounces of water in in a cup like this, and you put one spoon of Epsom salt and this is the one that I've used and it's good for detoxing and um, flushing out toxins out of your body and so on. So you put one tablespoon into the water, I'm not going to show you all the details, but six ounces of water, one tablespoon of uh, Epsom salt, mix it till it dissolves and then you drink that down. Now you have to do that twice on the sixth day. You do the first one at 6 p.m. and the second one you do at 8 p.m. Once you've done that, then you have to mix up a concoction of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil and grapefruit juice, okay? I forgot to mention also, um, during the six days building up, You've got to be drinking um, apple, um, fresh pressed apple juice or, um, you know, something that is not from concentrate. You can use concentrate, but I prefer to use organic if you can. You've got to drink 32 ounces of apple juice per day. If you cannot drink apple juice, then the next alternative is this stuff called malic acid. And this is the brand that I use. And that's because the apple juice has the malic acid in it. It's right. the malic acid that you need yes. to soften the gallstones. So the malic acid is what you need um, to soften the gallstones within, that are harbored within the liver and your gallbladder. So when you take in 32 ounces of apple juice, they say that is enough malic acid that you need per day to soften the gallstones within the liver and the gallbladder. So you do that, say if you were to start from Monday, you would finish drinking your, your last course of apple juice on a Saturday, on the sixth day. Then you would have an enema, schedule your enema or your colonic for the sixth day and you will get... What's the colonic for? Out. The colonic is to cleanse your, your um, colon, to cleanse everything out, get all the debris out. So that when you begin to push these stones out, there's nothing inhibit, inhibiting it or stopping it from passing through. So you would have an enema or a colonic, but I recommend the colonic because that's what it says in the book. And that will, if you can get hydrotherapy or a gravity flow colonics, that's the best one to do. You do that before you have the flush and the book specifies that if you cannot do the colonic do not do the liver flush the colonic is paramount and very important you must do the colonics before and after the flush so after you've had um, the flush you now you do that on the sixth day in the morning and then you have your six ounces of water in a glass and one tablespoon of epsom salt into the water you mix that you drink your first lot at 6 p.m and then the second lot you drink at 8 p.m and that's the malic acid done for that day that's a saturday what does the epsom salt do the epsom salt what that epsom salt does it it, it relaxes the bowel way the bowel ducts coming from the liver to the gallbladder so it, it relaxes the tubes because the stones that you pass out, some are big as golf balls. Some can be the size of a two-pence piece or a one-pence piece. All different sizes. Some can be little, little, small ones like pellets or the size of a peanut. They come out, they vary in different sizes. And if you don't take the malic acid to relax the tubes, so if you don't salt? take the Epsom salt, I'm getting confused now. If you don't take the Epsom salt to relax the bile ducts, um, it will be quite painful when they're passing through. So the Epsom salt is just to relax the tubes so that the stones can pass out of the liver and the gallbladder. So you, you do that and then you have to take another concoction. Now this concoction is consists of 
with extra virgin olive oil and pink grape juice. Now you can squeeze your own grape juice or just like me, just buy um, the non concentrated version from the carton and use that from the carton. But you have to strain it and get the pulp out. So if you if you are juicing it, get the pulp out. If you're using one like I'm using in a carton which has bits, I strain it and I get the bits out. Um, again, you you put the virgin olive oil into the jar and the grape juice. Um, it specifies the amount. I think it's like thirty. Um, 300 milli, milliliters or so it's about that much both parts equal parts but I <laughs> I do half of this jar I do half olive oil and half of the pink grape that's what I do but I recommend you follow the precise guidelines of um, Andre Morse's book so you do that and you mix it up together and then at 10 p.m. you down the whole lot all in one go you've got to drink it mind you you won't be drinking as much as me but this is what I do but you've got to drink it all in one go within a space of about five minutes if you can't manage the taste then you can lick some honey and then take take it down as it specifies in the book and or use a straw or you can use a straw, as my wife does, because she can't take the taste. It makes a gag. gag. So she she uses a straw, but for me, it's nothing. I, I just drink the whole lot down. So I also forgot to say, on the sixth day, from from the sunrise to sunset, you are you're supposed to fast. You're not supposed to eat any food. So say say from the first. From when you wake up in the morning, you take your first um, drink of Epsom salt at, sorry, 6 a.m. in the morning to 12 midnight, the Saturday on the sixth day, you go that whole day fasting. You're not allowed to eat. And that, that is paramount. You're not allowed to eat for the sixth day because you don't want to put anything in there that's going to block the colon and inhibit stones from passing through. So you have to fast. So it's just one day of fasting on the sixth day while you're doing the malic acid and the grape, pink grapefruit and olive oil mix. And the Epsom salt. And the Epsom salt. So you have to fast. You cannot eat any food on the sixth day. So you at 10 p.m. you drink the concoction down and the book says you have to lay on your bed straight away and basically just go to sleep. And when you're laying down, you lay on your back with your head above your abdomen. And you just you just meditate. You know, I, I like to maybe burn some incense or put on some some relaxing music and just meditate and just let myself drift off into a sleep. So if you can sleep all night, if you can't, it says that you've got to be laying down for at least 20 minutes to half an hour. And you can, when you're doing it, you can feel your stomach bubbling and churning that's the actual gallstones being released um, from the bladder in, into you know the, the colon and so forth so you'll feel this bubbling and churning in your stomach that's just the gallbladder releasing why the olive oil and the grapefruit um, because you need to create bile in order to release the stones so the olive oil and the grapefruit is to um, increase the production of bile fluid. You need the bile fluid um, to flow through in order for the stones to come out. So that's why you drink the olive oil and the grape juice concoction. So on the seventh day, you wake up and you take another course of Epsom salt, six ounces of Epsom salt, one table, um, six ounces of water, one tablespoon of Epsom salt, and you do that at 6 a.m. in the morning. By then, you should start feel the, feeling the need to go to the toilet, and when you go, it's going to pass out like water. You're just going to have watery bowel movements. At 8 a.m. in the morning, you take your final glass of water, six ounces, with one teaspoon of Epsom salt dissolved in it at 8 a.m. You drink that 
And then by then you should start feeling the need to go to the toilet and, and pass, pass out. So if you haven't done by then, that's fine. Just give it time, you know, get up, walk about, get your body active, get yourself moving, massage your, your stomach area. You can be massaging your colon, your liver, you know, traversing colon, ascending and descending colon. Just massage, get everything moving because the fluid is just sitting there. So what you want to do is just massage it and move it about and get everything working. So by then, um, around, by then, you're not allowed to eat anything during all this time. You're not allowed to eat until roughly around, say, about 11.30. You can drink some juice, some fresh squeezed juice, or, or from the carton, just drink, drink some juice. And then maybe an hour after that, about around 12.30, 1 o'clock, then you can eat something light. I suggest, like the book says, having a piece of fruit, an orange, or a banana for some fiber, you know, just eat light because you your stomach's going through this process of pushing out all these gallstones. Kids. <laughs> Kids are distracting me. So your stomach, so eat light so as not to inhibit, you know, the releasing of the stones. So you've got to do that, um, say up to about, um, one thirty, and then after that, then you can just gradually eat um, as the day progresses. You can eat normally, you know. Okay, so what you'll find now, once you start passing out the stones, it's going to come out like a uh, uh, water, and you're going to have these green stones. Th those are the gallbladder um, stones and the liver stones that your gallbladder and liver has released. So, what you can do, they they should be round look like green peas in varying sizes from the size of a pea to a peanut to even some as the size of a walnut or a golf ball. That's how big they can be. Um, I'm going to send this warning out right now. I've done five flushes and what came out of me was really scary. I'm going to say it right now. Really scary. And... I'm going to show some pictures, so for all of you that are watching right now, look away if you are squirmish, and you know, and you're, and you, <laughs> it's, it's not a good sight, but just to give you an idea of what a person like myself is pushing out, even with a flat stomach that I have now, um, you'll get the idea, but for those who are weak of heart, I advise you not to watch this bit, I'm going to put a few pictures up that are gonna show you, you know, um, from my first cleanse to my uh, fifth cleanse, which I've done today, the kind of stuff that my body's pushing up. And we all have stones, whoever you are, underweight, overweight, we all have these stones. And if we don't flush them out, it can cause a lot of health issues. So I'm gonna put some pictures up and, you know, judge for yourself. Okay, so you've seen the pictures and uh, it's not a pretty sight. I told you it's not a pretty sight. <coughs> so, um, so that's my secret, which is no secret at all. I mean, this is the book, Andre Morris, you know, the amazing liver and gallbladder flush. This is what I followed. This is what I implemented into my lifestyle. My wife has done it. She's seen tremendous results. I've done it five times now and I'm still producing stones, and, but I've seen amazing, tremendous results. I'm getting compliments left, right, and center. People who have known me from when I used to be a lot bigger, you know, much more stockier, and, and they haven't seen me for some years, and then when they see me, they say that I look like a completely different person, 
you know, and these are the kind of testimonies that I'm getting back. So, yeah, this is Shane representing Josh Young Extreme Body Fitness, and this is my take on the amazing liver on gallbladder flush. Shout out to my fellow YouTuber Gavin Mel. Your, your your videos really inspired me and pushed me to take that next step to doing the liver and gallbladder flush. So I'm going to put a link in the description to his site and a link for Andre Morris's videos on the amazing liver, gallbladder and flush. Um, so, you know. And leave comments. If you do them, yeah. leave comments below. Let us know how you get on. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment or email too. Excellent. And um, like, subscribe, follow, share, you know, same old usual. This is YouTube, after all. Hey, yeah, I forgot to mention also um, something that I neglected to say earlier. Um, also, after you've done the liver, the amazing liver and gallbladder flush, you also need to do a colonics before and after. I didn't mention when you should, you're supposed to do it afterwards. Um, after the seventh day, you wait for another two to three days. Then you go, you book yourself in and reschedule another colonics. Um, so this is to remove any gallbladder stones that may be left with inside or trapped inside your colon. So you go for your second um, colonics and you get that the remaining um, stones and debris flushed out. It's very important that you do this because if you don't do it, you know, the stones may become trapped and leach out into other areas of your body and cause toxemia and stuff like that. And you don't want that to happen. So it's very important that you do a colonics before and after your uh, amazing liver and gallbladder flush. So another point I want to make, I, I did this because of all the symptoms that I was going through within my body, like, you know, the overweightness and watery, water on the joints and stiff joints and back pain and, and stuff like that. I, I knew that there was something that wasn't right within my body and I wanted to get rid of and purge all those top all that toxic level out of my body. So a point to note that this amazing liver and gallbladder flush isn't from weight loss. It's to remove um, toxicity from out of the body. That's what it's for. And weight loss is just part uh, um, parcel of, of the process. So uh, I just want to emphasize that and stress that to you YouTubers, all the YouTubers out there and everyone who's listening and following me on youtube so remember this is shane and um, this is my take on the amazing liver and gallbladder flush uh, i'm representing jashan extreme body fitness you know remember to like subscribe and follow i'm going to be putting out much much more um, videos in the near future you know of my training regime and workout regime because i'm into calisthenics and stuff like that so body weight training and just, you know, holistic lifestyle and, and just trying to eat and maintain well-being. So that's what I'm about, you know. So remember, you know, stay focused, you know. Your body is your temple. Take care of it. Look after it, you know, and don't pollute it. Until then, see you next time. and this is my true weight my water content 
my muscle density and my bone marrow. Yep, yeah. I've achieved my 80 kilogram kilo um, goal, weight goal. I'm now 79.8 and today is the 19th of July 2017 and this is me. Danny Paula, 80 kilos. <laughs>